Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do 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 do. Subscribe if you're interested. Hey, today we're gonna watch uh, like like D23 trailers. Some they're they're pumping out the trailers right now. Disney's saying we've got product and we want you to watch it. So I'm gonna watch some of it. And um, we're gonna do Hocus Pocus 2, we're gonna do Disenchanted, and we're gonna do The Little Mermaid, the live action one. They've announced other films too, like I guess Mufasa's getting his own movie, uh, Peter Pan and Wendy are getting a movie together. I don't know if these are live action or animated or what. Uh, I think they've announced a movie uh, called Wish for the 100 year anniversary of the Walt Disney Corporation. It is celebrating its 100 year anniversary. Check this out. This is the beginning of the trailers. You probably can't see it. There it is. I'm liking this opening here. Got the castle. Uh, it says Disney 100. Do I like it? Maybe I don't like it. Hmm. Oh, 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 cool. Oh my goodness. Okay. Is that, is that Pride Rock? I think Pride Rock is right there. And then is that like the Matterhorn from Disneyland? Oh my goodness, is that what I'm looking at? I think that's what I'm seeing. Um, I kind of like that. Okay, I don't know. It goes too quick. I want to see one of the Disney films where it's like really, you know, how they do that kind of slow build to the, to the, um, the, the, the logo and all of that, the castle. I want to see that. So um, let's take... A look at these first we're starting off with hocus pocus you might see some of it there in the corner I don't know about like copyright stuff so I just I'm gonna turn it down really low and um, I'm gonna be talking during it so let's see what we got here okay like that corner looks like I'm looking at well, this is hocus pocus 2 by the way I'm starting it over hocus pocus 2 I'm seeing a bird I'm seeing three witches they look like young kids good casting Okay, a big witch. Wait, who's that? Oh, that, I think that actress is in um, the Fast and Furious movies, like Hobbs something. Okay, now we're in present day. Looks like we're in the Sanderson sisters' house when it's a museum. This guy's really funny. I liked him on Veep, and then I watched another show that was kind of like Clue or something, but in a house. Okay, the Sanderson sisters are back. The candle has been lit by a virgin. Oh my goodness. The book with the eye. It's eye just opened. Okay. I feel like... I feel like um, the budget feels a little bit too low for the star caliber that we have and the... That's funny. <laughs> so you know how they have the like brooms? They're, one of them's on, a, on Roombas right now. Uh, look like a Swiffer vac. But anyway, yeah, it doesn't feel very cinematic. It does feel made for Disney Plus. And I feel like that's a problem that we have in this contemporary era, unfortunately. With, there's just so much content out there that they have to spread the budgets. And I think a lot of films... I mean, not everything looks bad, but it almost looks like a Disney Channel movie. I could be wrong, though. Maybe this is just my computer. But I'm never going to see it on the big screen, because I'm pretty sure, from what I heard, this just, yeah, Disney Plus. Okay, so next, um, whoops, we're going to do Disenchanted. Actually, let me, should I talk about it? So, yeah, my main thing here is with... Uh, Hocus Pocus 2 is it looks underproduced. It looks like a lot of the streaming content that we see. Like on Netflix, those movies just don't quite feel like movies. Like, you know, a few of them do, you know, like The Irishman and um, other movies that I can't think of right now. But a, a lot of them feel like like the like the budgets are low like the the sets are not fully lived in everybody's in a costume you know everybody's kind of made up a little too perfectly or something i don't know it just doesn't feel it's missing some sort of cinematic element look i'm wearing chip and dale how perfect for this disney 
Disney uh, viewing party we have here. So this is Disenchanted, which is Enchanted Part 2, basically. I hear, I'm hearing Amy Adams do her song, Giselle the Ah. Uh, another Flying Bird. That's a fun motif. I wonder if the next film will have that. McDreamy. Got some gray in there. Looking sharp. Silver Fox in it. We got that Disney thing. Monroe. Okay. They're moving into a house together. Okay. Oh, right. So they have a kid together. And also remember Patrick Dempsey had a kid already. She's grown up. I'm seeing James Marsden and Adil, Adele Dazim <laughs> is also here. Maya Rudolph. Oh, I think the baby was looking at the camera. Breaking the fourth wall. Okay. See, now this looks more produced. I feel like, which is weird because this looks more substantial compared to Hocus Pocus 2, which is interesting. All right, I guess I should be talking more over this. I don't know. Um, okay, wait, oh, oh, okay. Giselle is turning into an evil stepmother. Gis Giselle, wait, no, okay, Maya Rudolph. Nope, Giselle, she just pushed her stepdaughter into a well. That's cool. That's a, you know, fun twist because she's a stepmother now. So play on that trope. That's what, you know, what these are is just like playing around with those tropes. So that makes perfect sense. That's good. Um, Black Adam. Should we watch that one too? Wait. Okay. Let's, here, let me, I gotta, let's go to Little Mermaid. I wasn't planning on doing Black Adam today. Let's go to Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. There we go. Okay. So, uh, Disenchanted. With that, let's see. It looks more produced than, you know, like more budget was put into it. It looks a little more cinematic, all of that. And what what's that about? I, I guess not what's that about, but why aren't, why, why, to me, Hocus Pocus is like this thing that has such a, a a backing behind it what am i trying to say like it's it's not a cult classic because it's very mainstream but has almost like a cult following behind it right it's like a every halloween you know this comes up maybe that's what they're thinking we don't have to spend much on hocus pocus 2 because people will watch it anyway because it's a holiday film and people watch it every single year I wonder if that's what they're thinking. I just wish it felt more well produced. It just, it, it feels, I don't want to use the word cheap, but it feels like they just didn't put, put their all in it or didn't have the time or the money or something like that. Especially when you compare it to what I just saw there with Disenchanted. Did it say Disenchanted was going to theaters? I don't know. I feel like I'm very bright here. I hope that's okay. Little Mermaid? Okay. Is this a teaser? Teaser trailer. So this is going to be quick. I love The Little Mermaid. I have great memories of The Little Mermaid watching it. We got some beautiful waves. I love uh Oh, that's good. Ocean, turtles. And it's like a very um realistic rendering. Like everything looks very realistic here. Ship wreckage underwater. Ariel. That tail is cool. That tail looks uh, much more fantastical. It's not just a pure fish tail. The colors all look right. But like the fish, the tail almost goes off into like fours. Kind of like a, it looks almost like a beta. And it has like a, and we're hearing the music. We're hearing the music, which is why I, I, I'm talking over it. 
She's singing, she's singing some lyrics. Oh yeah, got that red hair. This is, uh, uh, give me a little chills here. Okay, I'm trying to talk over it here, just so, you know, the, the camera's not picking up on uh, music or anything like that. Man, that was good. Not yet rated. May 2023. Okay, so let's see. Oh, come on. We just watched that. Okay, so let's see here. Like, that, that a part of your world was being sung there. So, and you know, that's, that's where I guess I was getting my emotional response there. But, um, I feel like, I don't know, when it comes to Little Mermaid, like that, that one I have such great memories of watching that with my sister when we were growing up. That was her favorite. Um, and it was just kind of like the main entrance into Disney and the, the Disney Renaissance. And I was like at the perfect age for all of that to happen. Uh, just loved those movies in that pocket. And uh, yeah, so that that's that's... I don't know, I can see myself really enjoying that for nostalgic reasons, but here's the thing. I loved Lion King for those same reasons, right? Um, the, the original animated, you know, grew up with it, it was perfect timing, plus it's just a great film, and then I watched the li live action one, and I enjoyed it, but it was just like in and out. Like, it doesn't have any sticking power with me, like the original animated film. So, I guess that's my concern for Little Mermaid. Is that gonna do the same thing? I feel like that's kind of how all these are. Like Aladdin, I was, I haven't even seen it yet. Dumbo, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I know they've done other ones, right? Have they? Oh, Beauty and the Beast, In and Out. Like I just, these things aren't sticking. They're not sticking with me. The animated ones are. So what I'm thinking is I'll enjoy it during that watch but it's not gonna have any staying power with me. It's just gonna, you know, flip all the switches and ring all the nostalgic bells in the moment and I'll enjoy all of that, but then beyond that, nothing, right? Unless my kids really pick up on those movies and I'm watching them a lot because I do have, you know, animated movies that I've watched with my kids that I really enjoy just because of that experience. So it's like I'm, I'm building up new nostalgic memories with them. So I don't know. Uh, I'm just excited, you know, for all this stuff. I like Disney. I like the, the products that they put out. I can't keep up with them all anymore. Um, but the news always still excites me. I don't think we'll do Black Adam today. Let's keep it Disney since I'm wearing the shirt. Although, look, Superman's back there. Superman's back there, but I also have Fantastic Four. Actually, that's not Reed Richards. That's uh, the actor when he was playing King Arthur. But he also play. He was also in the live-action 101 Dalmatians movie, right? Look at all those connections. Anyway, I'm talking way too much. Uh, have you seen these trailers? If so, what do you think of them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.